Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well. Today I am filming my first DIY tutorial of 2020. I'm going to be putting together a paper flower bridal bouquet. Uh, I'm going to try and do a pretty simple floral arrangement so it's not too, uh, too overwhelming. So yeah, I'm going to be using two different types of paper flower. The Kusudama paper flower and also the rolled uh, paper roses. I have two videos showing you how to make each of these. So I will link those videos down in the description box as well as the end of the video. Uh, so if you want to check those out, you can. Um, so yeah, so we'll just go over the supplies here. So I'm going to be using one Kusudama paper flower. This one right here has eight petals. Uh, I'm also going to be using eight small rolled paper roses as well as eight larger paper roses uh, in two different colors. So I'm going to have four of these uh, pink ones and then four of these uh, cream colored ones. Now this one has like a scalloped look to it and the way I did this was by cutting the paper with these crafting scissors here that I got from Michaels. They have this uh, scallop pattern on the blades here. Uh, so yeah, so that's how I did that. Also, I used cardstock paper to make these flowers. I'll just show you here. So my favorite brand is the Recollections brand and the 65 pound weighted uh, cardstock paper. I get this from Michaels. I feel like they have the best uh, variety in terms of color and paper finish. Um, so yeah, so this is the type of cardstock paper I use. I'm also going to be using eight uh, leaves for the bouquet. And I just drew my own template and then cut out eight of these leaves. I also have here some rhinestones that I got from Michaels. Some buttons. I don't remember where I got these from, but they're easy to find. Uh, I also have here... Uh, a very thin and lightweight wire. This is going to be the stem for the small rolled paper roses and the, um, the leaves. This wire I got from the dollar store. And then this thicker wire here, this is from Michaels. This is the pack it comes in. Uh, and this is going to be the stem for the Kusudama paper flower and the larger rolled roses. Uh, I also have here uh, wire cutters, scissors, a lighter. You can also use floral tape uh, to cover these stems. Uh, to me, it just makes the flowers look nicer and a little bit more realistic. But yeah, you don't need this. But if you do, you can buy the tape from Michaels and I know Walmart. You can also get it from Walmart. Uh, I have some ribbon. You'll need a glue gun, glue sticks, and uh, some tape. Um, so yeah, so that's it for the supplies. Let's get into the tutorial.
Okay guys, so I just wanted to quickly jump on here. As you can see, I decided to take out the minty green leaves over here because I really didn't like how that was looking. Um, so this is what the bouquet is going to look like. Since I'm here, I thought I would give you guys some tips about putting the bouquet together. Uh, when you're first starting to put the flowers together, don't start taping too high up um, because if you do, it's going to be really hard uh, to hide it later on when you're um, gluing the ribbon on the handle here. Uh, also, don't tape too tightly. Uh, you want the tape to be a little bit loose so you're still able to adjust the height of the flowers. Um, always make sure that you look at your bouquet from the top here so you can make sure that you like uh, where the flowers are sitting. Um, oh, the middle flower. Uh, make sure that the stem is always straight uh, because if it's, you know, bending to either side, then you're going to have a warped uh, bouquet and you don't want that. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, if you find that some of the flowers are, you know, moving a little bit too much, uh, you can always go in with, you know, a little bit of glue, just a little bit of hot glue to show you right here. Put a little bit and uh, you can kind of glue lightly glue it into place um, and uh, and yeah and once you have all your flowers uh, lightly taped together you can go in with more tape and do you know tape it a little bit tighter you can even tape a little bit higher too and that also helps um, the flowers stay in place um, so yeah so I think that's all I wanted to say uh, so yeah, we can move on now to the handle and the ribbon. So let's do that. Okay guys, so here is the finished bouquet. Um, it's, a, it's a smaller bouquet. Obviously, if you want to make it bigger, just uh, add more flowers. Uh, and uh, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section and I'll be happy to, uh, to answer them for you. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care and bye.